Yo, what's up? This is Simi Price Film. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a glitch transition effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's begin. I have clip one here and I have clip two and I'm going to create a glitch transition effect uh, where these two clips uh, cut. So I uh, want to copy the first clip and control V on Windows. Sorry, I don't know how to paste on a Mac. And you're gonna uh, paste it twice. You're gonna do the same thing for the second clip. Right click, copy, control V, to paste, control V to paste again. Now I'm going to shift, hold, and click to select all the clips at once. This just makes it easier than having to uh, put uh, the desired effect on each individual clip. Now I already have the uh, effect type in here, typed in here, uh, color balance RGB. Now what this basically does is it balances or uh, separates uh, the red, green, and blue color channels on a clip. And you'll understand what I mean in a minute. So I'm on the first clip here. I wanna change this to screen and I'm gonna bring the reds all the way up and I'm gonna bring the greens and the blues down. Now you can see the clip is very red. I'm just gonna make this clip invisible for now and move on to the second clip. I'm gonna bring, uh, for the second clip, I'm gonna bring uh, the greens all the way up and the reds and the blues all the way down. Now you can see again, this clip is very green because the green color channel is separated from the reds and the blues. I'm gonna make this clip invisible as well and move on to the third clip where I bring the blues all the way up and the greens and the reds all the way down. Now you can see this clip is extremely blue. I'm going to change uh, this to a uh, screen. Yeah, there it is screen. And I'm also gonna change the other channel, the green channel to a screen, bang. Now, as you see, uh, if I put the red channel back on, uh, the colors are basically all blended back together again. Now I'm gonna rinse and repeat for uh, the second clip. I'm just gonna speed through that really quickly. Okay, uh, so now I have uh, all the color channels, um, uh, the red, green, and blue split on uh, each every on each clip for the tra for the uh, transition, and. Uh, I think it's just Eclipse, but they look a little bit overexposed. I'm not gonna fix that. Actually, they look very overexposed, and I'm not gonna fix that just for the sake of this tutorial. Okay, now I want to actually begin to make the transition. So I wanna go to the point where the two clips cut together, and I'm just going to uh, step back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 frames for the first half of the transition. I'm gonna go to the razor tool, uh, and then just click, bang, bang. Um, and I'm gonna, now these these are all uh, separated and this will basically determine the first half of uh, the length of the transition. Now, if you want the transition to go on for a little longer, you'd, uh, you'd uh, separate, uh, you'd cut the clips and make them longer or uh, shorter, whichever uh, suits your needs. Now we'll go to the right, to the second clip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The razor tool again. Bang, bang, bang. Cut it up. Now I'm gonna move to the first clip, to the click on the red channel. And I'm basically gonna uh, mash around the positioning. So if I go here, hit scale, hit the clock, and I just bring this up. You can see the uh, the uh, color channels are again divided, and you want to just basically um, uh, just just play around with the scale. You can play around with the position, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to play around with the scale. Um, now it's at 124 percent. I'm going to bring it back down to uh, 106 and then the next frame I'm gonna bring it to 170 and then the next clip down. I'm gonna bring it back down to 130 And you'll basically this is uh, uh, rinse and repeat you'll do this for uh, 
the green channel as well and then you'll do it for the red channel and the green channel on the second clip i'm just going to speed through this here again just to uh speed things along and uh i'll show you what the uh, transition looks like when it's done Okay, so here we have a, uh, a finished uh, glitch transition. Bang, bang, bang. Now, uh, for this transition, I basically just played around with the scale to show you guys, but you could also experiment around with the position and uh, the rotation and possibly even the blending modes to uh, figure out, you know, what uh, looks best for your, uh, your project. Uh, if you like this video, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have a different idea on something you want me to give video advice on, make sure to drop it down in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching.